Hey, what's going on? It's Fly Guy J, and I'm back with another plug-in review. Today, I'm going to be following up on the Waze Factory cassette plug-in that I reviewed last week, and I'm going to be showing you today the Waze Factory transport plug-in. Now, the transport plug-in is a free plug-in you can download from the Waze Factory site. I'll make sure I'll leave a link in the description for anybody that wants to go and check that out. Last week, I went over the cassette plug-in, which is a dope plug-in for creating lo-fi vibes in your melodies or your beats. And it was a dope plugin, don't get me wrong, but there was one thing that I thought it was lacking, I thought it was missing, and that was the tape stop effect. And that's exactly what you can do with the Free Waves Factory Transport plugin. Let's check it out. So what I have pulled up on the screen right now is the Waves Factory cassette plugin, which I reviewed last week. And this is a paid plugin, but it's dope if you're looking to do lo-fi vibes, create some tape saturation, create some noise and make your samples and melodies sound lo-fi, sound retro, sound vintage. I'll play the piano loop that we created last week, and then I'll go over to the master channel where I have the cassette transport plugin, which is this guy right here. Now this plugin is free, and you can download it from the Waze Factory website. And what this allows you to do is create a tape stop effect, which is this right here pretty cool right <laughs> so when the stop button is pressed you won't hear any audio um, if you want to have the audio come back in you got to hit the, pr the play button every time you hit stop it'll do that ramp down effect which you can control how long that ramp down will be with the stop time knob right now I have it set to sync which means it's going to line up with the tempo of my DAW and you can change how long you want it to be all the way up to four bar uh, length and the shortest is a 164th note if you want to use free time this free button it basically allows you to pick a, an exact time in milliseconds in milliseconds but I'm gonna sync this up to the beat and I'm gonna put this back to half a bar the play time you can uh, actually ramp up also by adjusting this knob here so let's put it to sync and let's make it a one bar ramp up time. And then you'll see when I press this play button, you'll hear it slowly ramp up that audio. One idea you could use this for is in your intros, if you wanna bring your track in a little differently than you normally be doing, you could make a longer ramp time and just let it ramp on in. And as you can see, every time you click a button, you hear that authentic click noise. If you want to take that out, this switches volume will allow you to take it all the way out. So now you don't hear anything when you click the button, or you can increase it and exaggerate that noise. I'm going to leave it at zero. This rotor volume, this emulates the sound of the rotors spinning that tape so it'll introduce noise as you bring this up from zero to a hundred percent i'll press play here so you can hear that that noise from the, the tape reel spinning you can decrease that noise all the way down to zero take it out all together Yeah, man dope plug-in um, I wish they had this in the cassette plug-in itself so that you didn't need a second plug-in but the fact that they provide this for free makes it a great combination to use with that cassette plug-in if I were to use this in a beat what I would do is I would automate the play time I would automate the stop time so when when do I want the sound to ramp up and then the stop time when do I want it to ramp down um, you can also automate the lengths in here as well. I hope you guys enjoyed the plugin review. Make sure you click that link and download the transport plugin while it's still free. And uh, make sure you subscribe to the channel. Click that subscribe button. I got more reviews coming. Give me a thumbs up if you like the video. If you have any plugins you'd like me to review, drop a comment. Um, I check all my comments. I try to reply to all of them. So uh, yeah, man, let me know what you guys want to see next and stay tuned.
out.